You never wrote him a check? Ma'am, I don't have checks. Okay. Um, so you have no proof of any reimbursement for any of these things because it was all cash, right? The testimony of one witness is enough to prove a fact. So my question you was, do you have I'm any proof? You? Is that what you're intimating right here? I'm asking if you have any proof that you paid him any I mean, of these The monies. proof is what I just told you. You have no written proof. Is that correct? So I have some, um, probably some transactions like in Belize. I probably spent $500 on my card uh, in Belize. I spent 800, I can't remember, 900 bucks on each of our tickets to go to Belize. I did the $700. I probably got some <coughs> minor expenses in Aruba that would be on a card. But for the most part for those trips, other than, so the two cruises, I gave him money for those before we ever left. Um, Cause they were pre-booked. Let me answer. Well, the, the, the question was if you had any written proof. And so- So I've answered you that I've had written we proof. We can move to the next question. If you've answered, if you had any written proof and that was my question. Um, I, I want to make sure that we're clear that for the two cruises, Judge, and that's I the asked if she gave him written proof. We're not going to talk over <laughs> each other. Ms. Merchant, she answered your question, so we can ask the next question. Ms. Willis and Ms. Cross will have plenty of opportunities to let you clarify your answers <laughs> when it's her turn. Thank you, Judge. Knowing your role as district attorney, you know that public funds are scrutinized and money is scrutinized and things like that. You understand. No, never, your, I'm sorry, go ahead. You understand you're under a microscope. You have reporting requirements, all of those types of things. Um, you have no record other than your testimony of the money that you've given Mr. Wade. You've already asked that question. Let's keep going. Um, when you took office, you had a tax lien of $4,600. Did you pay that with cash when you <clears throat> made that tax lien hole? I probably paid through uh, <clears throat> however you pay. Okay. So, but you were saying that you had amounts of cash, you still had that lien in 2022 when you were dating Wade and going on these trips. So the cash that you gave him, that could have been used to pay this tax lien off? You gonna tell me how to pay my I'm bills? Object. This is not relevant as it relates to why we're here today. Ms. Merchant, um, if you are you trying to establish that she was insolvent in some way? Um, I definitely was trying to establish that, that she did not have these mass amounts of cash that she's talking about, yes. All right. Ask the, re -ask the question. Um, you had a tax lien in 2022, $4,600. If you say I did. And you did not use this cash that you had to reimburse Mr. Wade to pay that off, correct? No. Okay. I went shopping too when I didn't pay it all. And you talked about, uh, you, you, gave an, you gave a lot of interviews to some authors of a book called Finding the Facts, right? <laughs> I would not characterize it as a lot. I probably have spoken to them no, two or three times. My question is relevant as to. I, I think it's already come up that finances are discussed in the book. I'll overrule that. Thank you. Ms. Wilson, you can continue your answer. Well, it came up with Mr. Wade as it relates to hearsay statements that he was asked about in relation to what Ms. Willis may or may not have said in relation to an author. So it's not relevant to the testimony that's occurring. And, this time. I think Ms. Merchant has said that it, inside the book, she also makes a statement as to her own finances. 